Hi guys and welcome to this week's Josh's vlog video. I hope you've all had a really good week um, and that you've been able to enjoy a bit of the sunshine this week and being able to sort of be outside with our friends and family now that we can within the rules. I've really enjoyed being outside as, as I said with friends and family. And this week's topic is again it's, it's probably something you've heard many times before. I've been thinking about the phrase recently um, fill your mind with those things that are good and pure. I don't know about you, but it's something that was told to me over and over again as a kid um, by my parents. They would sort of drill this into us. And I didn't really like it as a verse because I felt like it was telling me I couldn't really have fun. I felt like it was telling me I couldn't watch certain films or play certain games or hang around with certain people even and get involved in certain things. And it kind of felt like, you know, I was, I was again, I was being told that I couldn't enjoy those things. And as I then grew up kind of thinking about this verse, what ended up happening was you kind of end up making excuses for those things. And you say, yeah, I know I'm supposed to fill my mind with those things that are good and pure, but this can't be too bad, can it? And we recognise that what the verse is talking about is the, the, the negative influence that certain things can have on our lives. And we say, well, yeah, I guess it's not, you know, this film, yeah, it's about shooting or whatever, but... It's not really a context that I can relate to, so it doesn't really affect me. Or, um, oh, I, I can easily play games and I, I, you know, they don't affect me or anything like that. Um, and maybe it's people you're hanging around with, like, you know, they might be into something that maybe isn't very good. I mean, you're kind of making those excuses for yourself that are, well, I know, you know, they're into it. I'm friends with them. I'm not really into it, so I don't see how it can affect me. And that's the kind of excuses I've always made, and it's also almost made us push this verse to the side as like a bit of a non-verse like we kind of know it's there we kind of sort of almost ignore it um maybe in a bit of naivety thinking oh well i'm fairly certain i i try and do the right things um and we kind of brush it under as a tick box yep yeah, we've ticked that but actually when i was sort of thinking and praying over this recently sort of an analogy came to my head that i want to share with you today and the analogy was of someone, let's say you have a nut allergy. Now, some of you may have a nut allergy, um, but yeah, say you had an allergy or any any kind of kind of food allergy, really, whether that's like wheat or whatever it is. Say you have an allergy, and you have six options of bakeries to go to. Now, in all of these bakeries, the recipe you can go into and check says no nuts or no whatever the allergen is that you're kind of allergic to it says in the recipe there's nothing there but maybe in the restaurants there's other things that have it in um and there's other bits sort of around there that potentially could allow that allergen into the pastries of that bakery however there's one bakery that can guarantee you that there will never be an allergen in that pastry now, every bakery is claiming to have the best pastries, okay? Every bakery suggests that. But there's one bakery that is saying, if you come to my bakery, I can guarantee you that you will not have any negative side effects from these, that these pastries are good and pure, and I can guarantee that for you. The other pastries can't guarantee that. Now, you might get lucky, and you might go into these pastry, into the bakeries, and you might eat, one ten thousand however many it is pastries without ever really having an effect but slowly the more you eat the more you have the more likely it is that you're going to have pastries that are going to start to affect your body and you're going to start to become ill and you're going to start to feel those effects and you might start making yourself excuses well it can't be this pastry because it kind of you know i might be allergic to nuts but there's no nuts in this recipe and you make those excuses even though you know that actually these places don't guarantee to be nut free. And the pastry, the, the, the baker from the baker who is guaranteeing you that it's nut free is not saying that you shouldn't eat from the other bakeries. He's not saying that the other bakeries don't have nice things or nice pastries or that you won't enjoying it. Enjoy it. In fact, he's saying these are very nice pastries that they're selling over here. You are likely to enjoy these things. However, if you come and take the pastries from my bakery, I can guarantee you that it's good and pure. And this was the kind of manager that God spoke to me about. That Actually, when God is saying to fill your mind with those things that are good and pure, he's saying, if you come to me, 
for your sustenance, for the things you need, if you come to me for them, I can guarantee you that what you get is good and pure. I can guarantee you that you won't have any negative side effects from what I'm giving you. If you go to worldly things for your sustenance, you may well enjoy it. You might well get lucky watching that horror film or whatever it is and it won't affect you. But there's a risk over there. The only, only place that you can guarantee to be getting good and pure sustenance is when we go directly to God for it. Now I hope that analogy kind of helped. I know it's a bit of a possibly confusing one, so I hope I've managed to explain that to you well um, and that it's kind of helped you think about that in some way, that actually God isn't saying that you won't enjoy these things and that you cannot touch all of these other worldly things, but just be aware that there is a risk with that, that it will affect you negatively. And the only way to guarantee that you aren't affected negatively is go and get our sustenance from God and directly from him and that way we know that it's good and pure. Thanks for listening um, and we'll see you again next week for the next Josh's vlog video.